Guys, what's Gucci, what's poppin'? How are we doing at home? I'm doing great, I'm doing fantastic. I'm um, a lot dirty. There's a little hint to what we're doing today um, or what a surprise that we have for you guys today. Um, I'm gonna show you guys why we have not been working or showing you guys the coop lately. You guys know that we were working on that, building that, doing a lot of things to it. We did a steering wheel, shift knob, um, new seats. We did speakers on it. What else did we do? We got some new wheels on it than, than it originally had. Um, we've done a lot to that car already. So we're gonna keep doing more to it. Um, in the future, I plan on getting wheels for it. In the future, I, I plan on painting it. So what I want you guys to do right now, before we get started, before I show you guys what we are doing, I want you guys to go subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, comment down below if you guys are excited to see what I'm about to show you. And let's just get right into it. So, um, surprise, surprise, surprise. Yes, sir. So we have the coupe completely primered up. This is already 400 grit right here, ready for paint. Um, I'm gonna get a lot of stuff done to it still. Um, we still gotta uh, clean up in here. We gotta do 400 grit around here. All the door jams gotta get 400 grit as well. Just this side here is done. Oh, we got the roof kind of going, and then the other side is about to get worked on as well. So this is what the car is looking like, guys, right now for primer. Go around real fast. And yes, sir, we started working on here. You guys can see that, but that is what we're looking like. So um, a lot more has to be done. I'm going to show you guys what we need to be done. We got the trunk right here. Let's go right up in here. Um, side skirts need to be done. Fenders need to be done. The little miscellaneous stuff, like uh, that's for the uh, license plate bracket. We got the little, I don't know what this thing is called, but that goes on the trunk, on the bottom of the trunk. Then we have the gas cap. We have um, a couple other little things as well, side skirts, I said I mentioned. A couple little things, but other than that, um, those are almost ready for primer. Once those are ready for primer, we'll primer those things up, get them ready with 400 grit, and then the whole car, entire car will be painted. So, if you guys are excited for that video, let me know in the comments down below. I'll be sure to get it done as soon as possible. I'm working on it by myself right now. Shout out to Cal. Cal helps me sand the entire car, door jams and everything. So um, Cal, thank you very, very, very much. I appreciate it from the bottom of my cack. <laughs> it is not perfect by any means, but it is as good as I could get it. So bear with me guys. Let's keep on sanding this car and let's move on to the rest of the video, which is like first mod. I guess you guys can say this is one of my favorite first mods every single time. This is what I like to do to them, make it look a little bit better right away and very, very cheap. So um, LED bulbs all around. So I'm gonna film a little bit of that. I'm gonna give a little time lapse or something like that. And then we'll get on to moving into the 350Z. on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together. Say what's up to the vlog, Cal. What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Alright, reason I'm showing Cal is because um, he brought me a package from Amazon. Um, got it shipped to his pad because it ships to his pad a lot faster. So he lives in Kalinga, I live in Huron. And for some odd ass reason, they don't ship to Huron like fast enough. They ship to Kalinga faster, which is kind of odd to me. So anyway, um, pick, I didn't pick him up. He brought him here. He had to do something with his mom. So um, he brought him through and uh, we got all the light bulbs here. Want to hold that for me, Cal? You can flip the screen back if you want. All right, so all the light bulbs are in here. We got all the dome lights. We got reverse bulbs as well. We got everything right up in here. So they sent me two actually. I wasn't supposed to get two of these, but they sent me two on accident. And uh, what the fuck is this? Nothing. And then some more bulbs. So we're going to figure out what goes where. And you're not supposed to touch the bulbs, only the black piece. So these could go in either way. Does it matter? Set that up. The bitches are bright uh, as right, huh? So that's the difference between LED and amber lights. You don't want those uh, halogen bulbs. 
I kept saying amber. I don't know why I kept saying amber, but they're halogen, not amber. But that's the difference right there. All right, this is the look of it with the original halogen bulb right there. We're gonna get that removed real quick. There okay. it is. That's the halogen bulb. Right. Set that one aside, and we'll get our original. Like I said, only touch the black piece. Don't touch the rest of the bulb. And then we're gonna get that installed. All right, dumb different. So we'll set this back up inside so you guys can see the difference. That is the difference right there. Um, I know it still doesn't look as bright as um it could, because but we're gonna get good. the tint completely removed, and then it should look like ten times better. This is a halogen bulb as well. This is for the trunk, and uh, let me close up. It kind of sucks that the hood dampeners don't work, but pull out this bulb real quick. That's the bulb. Right here. Damn. Don't mind me. I got fat ass fingers, so it's hard. But like I said, don't ever grab the bulb. Go just like this. And this is gonna be kind of hard to do without touching the bulb. But there it is. I think. There it is. That should be it. And this is the worst part about the Z. I feel like. Um. So open up the trunk, you have to use the button. It's annoying. All right, so we did have to flip the bulb around. I guess it's not um, either way goes. So we did it anyway, regardless, and uh, we're gonna set this back in and look in there, Kel, can you see it? It looks a, a lot better, like the white just gives it a better accent in here. So um, at night, it's gonna look a thousand times better. Um, way better than the halogen bulb, so that's that. Now, um, you guys saw the reverse are done. We're gonna go up to the headlights and try to get uh, some new bulbs installed as well. All right, so last but not least is gonna be these right here. Everything you can pick up off of Amazon, so these are Mega Racer. Um, these had really good reviews, so we're gonna go with these. Hopefully they fit because uh, the inside bulbs did not. So LED bulbs, guys, go a long, long way. So you guys see that right there? And then I'm gonna like kind of set you guys right here. Check this out. Crazy, check that out. Look how much more output I get out of just one bulb. Look at this. You see everything, look it. Look how dark it is with the halogen bulb. So that's why I kind of waited for it to get kind of dark as well. But look at that. You can see everything, but look at it. Look at this. Bright as f bro, with just one bulb. So we pry right here. Right there, loosens it up. And then pops off. This is the other old halogen bulb. New one is in and it's working. Check that out, bro. Check that out. Crazy, bro. Look at this. Open this up. All right, guys, so kind of figured out that we have to take off the whole bumper, entire front bumper to be able to get to the headlight bulbs. Um, headlights almost completely out. There's one, two, and then three bolts that we gotta remove for the headlight to come out. This is my last bolt I gotta take out. And hopefully after this it comes right out so it looks like it's going to take that out. And then this pops right off. Slide this on. There it is. Take that off. Now I'm gonna slide this right up in here. Oh, Cal's gonna hook me up, turn on the lights. Let that one. So, nah, this one's putting up more I light, look it. So, I don't know if you guys can see this right here, but this one's putting out more light than this one. So, I'm for sure gonna go with these right here. The color on this one's a little bit better. It's a little bit more like a hint of blue on this one. This one's completely white. So, let me back up, see if I can show you guys a little bit better. You guys can see there, that one has more output, which is gonna be a lot better for us on the road. So, dang, you look a lot better, huh? Yeah, cause that one's dirty one, look at this yeah, one. Yeah, that one's more clear, but, um. Now the bulbs are um, aligned the way they should be and we're getting a lot more output out of the LEDs than we were out of the regular um, HID bulbs that came with it. So I'm super happy. The little tints of blue is cool. Um, now we're just gonna assemble everything back up and uh, this shit takes forever. So we'll catch you guys as soon as we're done. All right, so Cal has these regular uh, bulbs right here and I have extra, so I'm gonna give him some of mine. 
which we have right here. Get some. We're gonna try to change them out real fast. You should check how, how these are también. Uh, no, those are regular. Bowls. Oh, those are regular? Oh, you oh. know what? I don't know. What you mean. should check them. So he's gonna try to throw that bulb in real quick. You have to turn on the lights. Let me turn on the lights for Cal real quick. They look bad. <laughs> look at the LED compared to the halogen. Look a lot better. Like a thousand times better. So he's gonna get the other one removed. But check it out, bro. The truck looking fresh. He just put these wheels on. So um, these are 15 inches. I told him to go with the bigger wheel, but he likes it. Um, he's gonna drop it a little bit, maybe put some bigger tires on it. But truck is looking fresh. He just needs that new paint job once we're done with the coupe. And there it is, guys. Easy, easy install. And it gives you such a better look, bro. Look at that. How do you feel? Yeah, <laughs> See, that, bad, it looks better. Huh? Like any bad. any little little thing makes a difference. So yeah, it, does. it makes it exciting. All right. So last but not least, we actually forgot to mention these. This is gonna be our uh, tail light bulbs. So the ones that we changed on cows, same exact thing. And these are the same bulbs that we needed. So pull this out. Set that aside. My hands are stupid dirty. You guys see all that dust? Crazy. I'm gonna get our new bulbs. This one, we accidentally uh, turn it the other way. We just gotta turn it around. And there you go. Damn. Look at that comparison, bro. It's stupid. It's. Let me let watch. I'm gonna set it in here just so you guys can see the difference. Look at this. Look at that difference. Damn. That's so much more output, bro. The little things is what counts, bro. So LED bulbs from Amazon. I'll put the link down in the description below. And uh, you guys can cop all these. I bought all the bulbs around for less than like 40 bucks. So um, it's well worth it. And look at all the output that it's giving me. So, And it looks a thousand times better. We're gonna wrap up the video here guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, my videos have been all over the place lately So um, I apologize, but they're gonna get better. I promise guys. Um, just trying to make content for you guys right now showing you guys what we're doing what we're not and uh, Showing you guys how happy people get or car guys get over just some simple little fucking bulbs So um, you guys could do this at home as well But without further ado guys, we're gonna wrap up today's video. We hope you guys enjoyed catch you guys next time. Peace